What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we are going to be adding in some doll sheep and uh, I'm going to be honest, I haven't ever really heard of these things. They look pretty interesting though. They're also known as thin horn sheep. It's a species of wild sheep that lives in the mountain meadows of Alaska, the Yukon, and British Columbia. So uh, if you look at their actual map here, you guys can see it's kind of like a little bit of Northwest Canada, a lot of Alaska. I don't know. They look like they're going to be pretty cute. You could have one male up to 39 females all in the same location. Um, looks like they, they don't really need, where is it? They need 425 square meters of land, which is not much. They don't need any water. They don't need any climbing and they need a, uh, a negative 12 to 16 degree Celsius temperature. So uh, these guys are gonna be pretty interesting. Now I've been looking at the animal market here and it's kinda hard to find some good ones. I mean, our one male should be really, really good, right? Like he, he should be the, the prize trophy sheep and I feel like Watkins here isn't really cutting the bill. Um, I don't know, the, like this female's not bad. That female is not bad. None of them are really jumping out at me though. So I think this might be one where we're going to keep an eye on the market, but we're going to start up and build their habitat right off the bat. So uh, we're definitely going to be putting it up in the Arctic area up here. Where do we think they should go? I mean, we could probably put them right here to be honest. Obviously right now this is kind of a dead end. So if we, if we kind of connect that all the way back here, maybe to this corner, then uh, that way people, you know, don't get stuck at the end and they can kind of walk all the way through. It encourages people to check everything out. So that, that sounds pretty good to me. I'm down for that. Let's, um, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to set up a, uh, a new little exhibit. I'm trying to think. So 450 square meters is not much. How big is this one right here? This is 3000. I'm thinking what we do here is let's, let's go ahead and cut that off. And then we're going to grab a new path. And we are going to kind of bring it around this way, maybe kind of make like a little, little crescent, crescent circle. Do we want to, I mean, I guess technically we could probably connect it over here or we could bring it all the way around and go underneath the, the people mover thing. Maybe, maybe we connect it here. Maybe that's, maybe that's a good idea. I'm trying to make it look nice though. Let's make it all line up. Beautiful dude. That looks absolutely fantastic. All right, so we've got this here and this is gonna be like looking straight at the exhibit. Now the thing is, is it says they don't need any climbing. Obviously they're not monkeys or anything like that, but these guys are from like the, the Rocky Mountain wildernesses of Alaska, you know what I mean? So I, I do want a little bit of climbability. I want a little bit of verticality, I guess is a better word for it. We're gonna have some rock faces for them to kind of be able to climb up and stuff. It, uh, it'll be kind of interesting. So I guess off the bat, we should probably grab our pull tool and I think, I think we're gonna make it so that like the back is super, super high and then it's gonna get lower and lower all the way down to the front. And that way it also makes it easier for our, our park guests to, uh, to see them a bit. But we need to think about how we're gonna get some, uh, get some, some staff in here to be able to take care of them. I guess we could have one little staff entrance down here that kind of goes in the side and then the rest of it it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fairly large. I'm thinking I'm thinking something like this. Like I'm trying to look at it from like a a viewer's perspective. I feel like that's that's solid. I guess we could probably go a little bit higher, but we don't want to get it too high that they're out of the view of people. You know what I mean? So now we're gonna kind of I mean we're gonna go in later and we're gonna we're definitely gonna make like little holes and land bridges and stuff like that for these guys. But we're just gonna kind of smooth this all out for now. And then we're gonna put the fence around it. Bring it around like this. Obviously somewhere right there is where we're gonna have our habitat gate for our workers to be able to get in. And then we're gonna be able to bring it this way. And obviously we're gonna change the height and everything of this at some point. But this should be the easy part. Just kind of bring it up to the pathway and uh, run it along. That's the start of our, uh, of our habitat. Let me see our habitat gates that we're gonna be able to throw in here. We've got a wooden gate right here. And it looks like we can just kind of set it up right like that. 
Looks like we've got this guy, which we're probably going to want to move off to the side. But, um, all right. So that's our habitat. We needed, what, 300, 400, whatever it was. We ended up with uh, 3,000. So I, I think these guys should have plenty of room. They've got a cool little cliff here. And uh, now it's going to be time to get to work. So this, this back side here, I'm going to raise up a lot. Then here in the front, I think we can go a little bit lower. That way people are going to be able to kind of look over it and see these guys up on the hill. So I feel like that looks pretty good. Hopefully these guys aren't too sketched out. If we need to, we can make it higher and turn it into some some one-way glass but that that should be a good start there okay so we've we've got the foundation obviously there's gonna be a lot more that we want to add to this to make it unique now let me let me check the market again real quick we'll refresh this list looks like we've got a bunch of females in here again not many of them looking too great I mean like I guess I guess we got to take what we can get I'm gonna get in in line right here um, we, we can get Charlotte and we're going to wait on a really good male. Now, when looking at this, I'm thinking, obviously we're going to need some sort of a cave. They're going to need a hard shelter. So I'm going to go ahead and get our push tool out. And I think, I think we're just going to make a cave right in the middle of the mountain. So we're just, we're going to push it back in there. Maybe it'll be a bit, a bit lower than the rest of it. Ooh, I don't want to go up there. I want to stay down on the bottom. We're going to push this back in. And we're gonna turn this into a mount. We probably need to lower our size a little bit here to get a little bit deeper push. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And this is gonna be this is gonna be their little sleeping area. Not eating, because it'd be too tough for one of our keepers to get back there. But it's it's gonna be a spot for them to kind of get away from everything. It's, it's gonna be nice. I feel like we might be a little bit too deep. I don't know. I guess it's it's probably not awful. We can we can raise it a bit, but we wanna we wanna keep it way back in there. Grab some extra large habitat bedding, which we are just gonna go ahead and throw down right here in the circle. Obviously, we're gonna add some rocks and other stuff as time goes on, but that's gonna be a nice little cave. And honestly, we, we probably made it a bit too big. We need to expand this part a little bit. That might be rocks, but uh, I guess we can we can kind of bring the, the walls in a bit here. We don't wanna make it too big. We wanna make it nice and cozy for them and give us plenty of room for other activities. Now I'm thinking we make this kind of like rocks, just straight up rocks. This is gonna look like the side of a mountain. So I'm flattening this out here, kind of smooth this out a little bit on the bottom to give them a nice entry. But this part is gonna be all rocks. And then I'm thinking they're gonna be able to like walk up here. There's probably gonna be rocks on each side. We could honestly, we could make this into a couple different levels. So let me, let me push this down a little bit here. We're gonna push this down, maybe pull this part out a little bit. I kinda wanna make this like one one walkway. So we're gonna have them walk. They can walk along the top side of their cave. Is that is that gonna be walkable? I hope it's it's nice and I mean they're they're sheep. They're used to walking on this stuff, so they should be able to cover some pretty steep parts. But yeah, they're gonna be able to walk along here. And then I'm thinking maybe they they come up here. And they can walk up this and maybe there's going to be like a second area with some rocks and stuff up here. That's actually, that's actually pretty sick. So let's, let's block this off here. So they aren't, they aren't going to be able to go straight through that, but they are going to have this little, little pathway up into this. All right. I like, I like this. We're giving them places to roam. So they're going to be able to go up. They can go left and they're going to have like a little overlook perch spot or they're going to be able to go right. They're gonna be able to come through here. We should probably, you know, kind of try to smooth this out a little bit. Let me see what nature has to offer. So we're gonna go in and, uh, I mean, this is gonna be taiga and tundra, I'm assuming, in North America. All right, looks good to me. So we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some rocks. I guess we gotta take North America off. Do we want taiga rocks or do we want tundra rocks? I feel like tundra rocks look better. All right. So we're, we're going to work with these, and I'm basically going to set these all over the place, dude. This is going to look completely different here in like two seconds. All right, here we go. This is looking pretty good. I'm, I'm letting time kind of pass by a little bit so we can get that sun up in the air. We can get the, the true colors and everything. But um, yeah, dude, this, this is pretty cool. I like where we're going with this. So obviously, huge rock wall on each side here of the uh of the the hill as a whole we've also got kind of a, a bit of a wall over here on the left i didn't want to get too repetitive and make it too symmetrical so we didn't do one on the right 
We extended the, the lid of the cave a little bit just to give them a little bit more room, a little bit more of that shelter. And then like we set up before, they can kind of walk up here. They can head over to the left. They can head over to the right. They can kind of do whatever they want. We need to kind of seal up the, the holes back here. We don't want them to fall. I guess if anything, we could we could just kind of put some some rock down. So let's let's grab like our our flat pieces of tundra rock, and I think uh, I mean it's it, you can't have the the land go all the way up against the fence, especially after you've already placed the fence. So we're just gonna have this tundra rock line the outside, I guess. Not the the perfect solution, but. At least that way they aren't gonna fall, right? And to be honest, I don't even I don't even think that looks that bad. I think that looks pretty good. I almost would align the entire top side with it, but I also think we're gonna add a little bit of snow and we'll add a little bit of like actual terrain rock with our terrain tool at uh, at some point. But yeah, this thing looks pretty good. You guys can see we've got like little random rock, rocks popping up all over the place. And uh, I feel like once we add a little bit of snow, maybe a little bit of grass and stuff, this is actually gonna look super, super great. Now we did end up finding a decent mail on the market, which I'm pretty excited about. So let's go ahead and uh, switch over to our doll sheep here. See what we've got going on. So we've got three females all around eight years old. We've got Charlotte, we've got Aria, and we've got em em Emilina. Emelena, I, I have no clue how to say that. We've also got Liam, the male here, which you guys can see size and longevity, not great, but good fertility, good immunity. I feel like he's gonna be about as good as we're gonna get for now. We'll keep an eye on it. If we can upgrade at some point, I'm definitely down to do that. But I mean, I've been looking at the market for over an hour now and there just aren't that many that are coming up. Like I've said, we're kind of getting like into some of the more unique animals and, and less popular animals, I think. So uh, it's gonna make it harder to find really, really good ones, which means we're just gonna have to breed them. So we're gonna get all four of these guys moved in here. We are gonna have to set this up in a, uh, in a work zone. So let's take a look at our work zones here. This is gonna be in our Arctic work zone. Go ahead and edit it, and we are gonna throw this thing in there just like that. Then, of course, we're gonna have to get basic habitat necessities. So if we go into our uh, into our thing here, negative 12 to 16 degrees Celsius, I think we're probably just gonna keep it at zero degrees, like we have pretty much everything else. And we're gonna start setting these guys up. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put a cooler. Can we put one like right there is probably pretty good. Definitely put one up here. Definitely put one down in their actual habitat. Probably have to put one over here and then maybe a final one over here. So we're gonna get those set up. We're gonna let those cool things off a bit. Then we're gonna be able to add maybe some snow and uh, we've gotta get like their food and water and toys and everything else. Looks like we've got some lions that are maturing in the meantime, which is kind of exciting, but also a little bit scary. We've got three male lions all in the same habitat here. We've got some black bears about to mature. So Atunya, you look like you're gonna be pretty good, dude. Gold, he's got a 0% immunity, but almost 100% in everything else. He's, he's gonna fetch a high price. I'm excited for that. We've also got Thimba here even better actually has some immunity gonna go ahead and send him to the storage center is that all that we have in here let me check if there's if there's anybody else Harl oh shoot so there were four male lions Harl is a new three-year-old adult as well where's our actual where's where's daddy -o? just snacking on that big old meat stick and then he's gonna take a nap I love it all right so we're gonna get Har uh, Habarl out of here looks like he's got some pretty good stats as well Let's go ahead and send him off to the Trade Center. Let me see what else is going on. Um, American Bison Offspring matures, matures. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good for now, I believe. I don't think any, is anybody fighting? Ostriches are hungry. That means we're gonna have to call a keeper over to our African exhibit. I think, are we gonna have, it said something about, ooh, Jim's Bach are gonna be fighting for alpha status. This is always the the most annoying thing, dude. So we're gonna come into our, uh, we're gonna go to our Jim's Bach. Got a new male that just uh, just matured, so we're just gonna go ahead and release him to the wild and get rid of him. Honestly, I, I don't like the Jim's Bach exhibit. It, it, it's way more upkeep than it's worth. They don't really fetch us that many conservation credits and they always need to be um, you know, kind of attended to. So, uh, looking pretty good there. Ooh, we've got a chimpanzee that's gonna be expecting offspring. That's pretty exciting. We've got some black bears that are about to mature. They're at 4.8 years old. They should mature right at five. 
So that's that's also going to be exciting as well. Yep, we've got Chang Ming here, which has some pretty good genetics, and then we've also got Yuan here, which aren't quite as as good, but uh, that's all right. We're going to send both of these guys to the trade center before they cause any problems with our uh, our main boy Dong Dong here. Uh, I feel I feel like our breeding program is is pretty pretty strong. I'm not going to lie. As I say that, we're about to inbreed, so. Sorry, you gotta go, girl. Release you to the wild. You're out of here. Get your nasty self out of here. But um, yeah, I feel like we're we really got some good specimens up in here. We're getting some some good uh, what do you want to call it? Good genetics in our uh, in our offspring. So okay, cool. We're good. This should be cooling down by now. Hopefully, let me see what our temperature is looking like. Yeah, man, we're looking pretty good. We probably need to get one more. Honestly, probably need to put one one more up. Get one more right here and one more down here, so that um, so that what's it called? So they, they don't get down in this corner and get hot and like start complaining and stuff like that. And uh, now we're gonna be able to add a little bit of snow. So I I don't want all snow. I kind of I, I don't want too much snow. I'm thinking maybe we put snow up on the top. I'm thinking we, we make a lot of this is gonna have to be rock. I'm assuming they really like rock. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm gonna rock out this whole thing. And then we're gonna put like a little bit of snow like up on the rocks, up on the northern part of it, cause it's, it'd be a little bit colder up on the, the top part, you know what I mean? And maybe like a little bit coming down here, but really, really not too much. Maybe some, I wish you could like paint the rocks with snow. But yeah, something, something like this where it's not it's not completely overwhelming and all based on snow. I feel like is is gonna be gonna be kind of nice. So we'll we'll go with something like that. Let me see what these guys actually like. So we're gonna be able to take a look at their environment. They don't like a lot of coverage. We're gonna be able to add a few trees, but not much. Terrain wise, I mean, they just don't want sand. They like snow. They like rock. They like grass. They like literally anything but sand. So this is this is gonna be easy enough. I'm thinking. Maybe we, instead of snow, let's do long grass over here. We'd have long grass at the entrance and maybe kind of fade it into some, some short grass over here. Definitely some, some short grass in front. And then we could do like a little bit of long grass back here maybe that kind of fades into the short grass and into the, uh, into the rock. Get rid of all this sand. All right, I feel like, I feel like something like that's gonna look pretty good. They're very happy with that. Their hard shelter is set, their terrain is set, their environment is set. I mean, we, we could add a couple of trees, so let's go back. We're gonna take a look at uh, the North American continent here, and let me see what we can do for trees. I mean, we could do like little, nice little colorful plants like this. I'm gonna throw a few of these in throughout, just to give it a nice, a nice little pop of color. Maybe get a couple up on this rock even have them growing out of the rocks up in here just little beautiful weeds I guess you could call them I just I like the purple dude it's 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 a good looking good looking plant could even put some over here on the sides I don't think most people are really gonna see these over here but hey at least at least it makes it look a little bit more put together maybe one or two on this side we've got spruce trees I like spruce trees so we could throw a spruce up here Maybe like a different size of spruce over here. Just kind of frame frame the mountain a little bit. We've got a big spruce we could put over in the corner. Something like that looking pretty nice. All right, what other kinds of trees? We've got festive spruces. I guess we don't really need that right now. We've got fir pines. This area is looking a little bit boring. So we could do a fir pine and we could even grab like a rock or two and just kind of make like a little, make, oops, shoot, don't want to do that make like a little setup over here in the corner. Just something to make it look a little little bit nicer. Something like that looks pretty good. All right, so we've got that there. Let me see what else we have. We've got twin flowers, we've got cedars. Ooh, the cedars look pretty nice. Maybe put one up top here. Or maybe like we could do one next to a smaller one. Something like that. And we don't, we don't wanna go too crazy because these guys don't really like too much. Uh, I may I may do a little bit of twin flower, you know maybe maybe line the edge of the cave here. Looks like we're a little little bit cockeyed, so we can go with something something like this. 
Gotta make sure it lines the ground perfectly. They really should make this so it auto applies. I think there might be a setting for it, but I don't know how to turn it on. So we've got something like that, and then maybe we can move this rock back a little bit. So it's not overtaking the flowers. Boom. Do we have like a, a big bush? Medium, large. I'm, I'm looking for a bush with a, a little bit of verticality. Large Labrador tea. I mean, that, that looks pretty nice right there. I want a bush in this spot. I don't, oh, we've got a sage bush. Can we get a big sage bush? There aren't really any big ones. I guess we can make our own big one if we wanted. Here, give me this guy and we're just, dude, we're, we're just gonna stack this. That's the beautiful part is nobody actually knows. So this is gonna be a, a big, a big sage bush right here. I just feel like, I feel like this corner was a, a little bit boring. Didn't want to go rocks all the way down because that would be a bit repetitive. So we'll just, we'll make, make our own makeshift big bush right there. That actually doesn't look too bad. All right. So I think, I mean, let me, let me see where we're at with our coverage. Looks like, um, I mean, we're up to 10%. We can go all the way to 20. We could add a few more flowers. We could add a few more trees, but at the same time, I, I don't want to overdo it. So let me, let me see what I could do for everything else. We need to, first of all, we need to get one of our staff, one of our vets researching these guys. Francine, we need you on the, uh, the brand new additions, the doll sheet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our habitat. Let's see what these, these doll sheep like in terms of, uh, I mean, food and water should probably be first. So we're going to get them a, a large food trough. We should probably try to put it over here so people can see them a bit better. I guess we'll, we'll put it here. We just don't want our, uh, we don't want our, our staff to have to walk very far. So we're going to put food there, water there, maybe another water over here or something like that would look pretty good. And then let me see, um, let me see our enrichment items. So they like grab balls, which is kind of cute. We could put a grab ball up here, encourage them to go up top. Hanging grazer, maybe, uh, maybe one like hanging off of this rock. Something like that's pretty nice. Large barrel feeder, that's going to have to be down in the middle because we don't really have a lot of room. Chimpanzee climbing ring. Yeah, I, I, I don't, a rig. I don't, I don't think they're actually going to want that. I'm going to put this little rubbing pillar up here is kind of cool. And then I guess a grazing ball feeder. We really, we don't have a lot of flat space for them to be able to use these feeders. We could put it up here. I'm worried it's going to fall down the backside of the mountain or something, but whatever. If they, if they knock it off, that's their own fault. So we've got that. We could also put some enrichment markers, some, uh, what's it called? Scent enrichment. So I'll just throw a couple of these down around the place, give them something to kind of sniff out and smell. And uh, all right, I think I think that's that's going to be pretty good. Let me let me see where we're at here. We got to play it to see what they think. So it'll update. Looks like we're up to a hundred percent. So everything apart from nutrition is in a good spot. And you guys know nutrition is something that we're going to have to work on as we do more research on these guys, but it, it looks like we actually did a fairly good job. Dude, these guys are so cute. I like the male a lot with his big, big curved horns. Nice. All right, do, do something cool here. We're gonna, we're gonna move, we're gonna move you up here. You're gonna be forced to do something cool. We're gonna move you up to the top of the habitat. What do you think about that, buddy? Oh yeah, look at them horns, dude. You, you look so handsome. All these girls are gonna be throwing themselves at you. Guaranteed, bro. You got this. Look at his little hooves and stuff. His little tail. Dude, these guys are cute. I Like I said, I had never really heard of them. Doll sheep. Something I'm gonna have to, uh, have to look up in the future. Now I'm hoping, I mean, some oh, he might not have a way off of that. Sometimes it's a little weird and and they won't like unless it's a very smooth surface They won't be able to get off of it. So we might have to smooth this out a bit To give him a way down because he's not He's not really walking. He might he might just be nervous. I I, I don't know Because he's not he's not really moving it up like he, he could be moving around up here He could like grab that little thing and stuff. I, is he just okay? There we go. There we go. He's walking All right, buddy I want to make sure, I guess technically we can, we can just look if we go to our habitat, we can look at traversable area. So search for him 
and it looks like, yeah, dude, they've, they've got access to literally everything. It does look like this thing is in a bad spot. So we're gonna wanna move this probably over here. But it looks like he's gonna have access to pretty much everything that we wanted him to. Dude, this is so sick. Look at him, he's coming down. I love it. We made him this, dude, this is so cool. There's so many layers to this thing, man. I love it. Look at him just exploring the world, checking out everything that we just spent making for him. We spent a ton of money. Look at that view. He can see his bonobo friends over there. He can see a few of his bison. He's gonna be able to watch the trains and the, the um, you know, ski lift, people mover type thing going by this. This is pretty sick, dude. Admiring these guys is, is great and all, but it looks like we've got a ton of issues going on. So we've got some some alpha status problems with our uh, with our warthogs. So I'm actually, I'm just gonna go in here and we're gonna take a look. They're common warthogs, right? Common warthogs. Anybody who's new, all these new young adults, males and females, because we don't want to have any inbreeding. We're just, I mean, I would send them to the trade center and save them for later, but we're just gonna release them to the wild. All right, so that should take care of that. We've got some stressed tortoises. Why are we stressed over here? He's actually, I mean, he, he's fine. I'm not too worried about that. We've got hungry gorillas. Gonna wanna make sure we take care of them. So we're gonna call a keeper in there. And then we've got some unbox all animals. I don't know why these guys have been in the boxes. Sometimes if they like almost get out or whatever, it'll auto box them up. But that should, that should take care of it. It just, it looks, it looks like, it looks like we've got lots of exhibit problems. I'm just gonna call a keeper, a vet, and a mechanic, and hopefully we can end up getting this figured out. I think they just haven't been fed. You guys know the deal. I've been hiring keepers like crazy, but whenever we add in new animals, and a lot of the keepers are bringing new animals to a new exhibit, other animals don't get fed for a little bit. But we're gonna be okay, dude. I never noticed how many people came over here and watched this. By far our most successful exhibit, without a doubt. So anyway, there you guys have it. Oh my goodness, it is getting really laggy here. I actually, I, I really, I really like this setup. I, I, oh shoot, we've got starving animals. Oh man, starving ostriches. All right, I'm gonna have to take care of this. You've gotta like send them to the, the you know, quarantine center or whatever. You gotta send them to the, the storage facility and then bring them back out. It's a whole mess. We're gonna be fine. It just, whenever we add new animals, like, our zoo is so big, it's starting to kind of stretch things a little bit thin. But um, yeah, I, I feel like this is a really cool exhibit that we made today. Nothing too crazy, but just nice features. We've got kind of a cool little mountain that these guys can climb all over, and I think they're going to love it. So hopefully you guys loved it too. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Let me know which animals you guys want to see next down in the comments, and uh, peace out.